Hi guys, welcome to my first YouTube video. My name is Sarah. Um, if you're watching this, you probably know me and came from like Facebook or Instagram or something. But I am just doing a kind of like chatty makeup look using the Aspen Times Tarte Palette in this video today. I just want to see how I get this look and see me be a little awkward in my first video, then just keep watching. Okay, so I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera, um, just because everyone does their eyebrows a little differently. But if you guys want to see like an in-depth eyebrow tutorial, then I can totally make that happen. But and we're gonna move on to the eyes. We're just gonna do something kind of simple. I wanted to play around with the Aspen uh, Ovard palette and Tarte today. This huge mirror. Sorry, you can see my little camera. Um, but the palette itself is so pretty. It has a blush. A blush and then a highlight and then nine eyeshadow shades um, none of them are super super dark which I don't really mind just because like I have other palettes that like have super dark shadows but this so we're just gonna go ahead and prime our eyes with Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair I also love this palette just because the mirror is so big and I can use it instead of like actually having to sit in front of the mirror. But we're gonna go in with Married Life. It's just this off white kind of kind of set that concealer. Like so. And this is I have no idea what this brush is. I'm pretty sure I stole it from my sister, but it is Oh no, this is BH Cosmetics. I will look up the brush, but I got in like a set. Now we're gonna go in with the Morphe um, M518 brush. It just looks like this. And then we're gonna go in with this in our crease, High School Sweetheart. We're gonna dip into that and put this on the crease. It's kind of messy, like it doesn't have to be like precise or anything um, because it's just kind of like gonna make sure we can blend in the other colors, which this eye look is not gonna be anything like outrageous, like just a little bit of a dark outer corner and then some sparkles. Now we're gonna go in with this shade, it's on the bottom of the palette, um, it's called Tea Time. And just same brush, I probably should use different brushes for different things, but I feel like this just works the best for me. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a different brush. This is the Morphe M441 brush. It's just, it's kind of like the same brush, but it's a little more pointed. It's the shade Road Trip. That's here, and that's just like a deeper brown. And we're gonna put that right on like the tip of the brush. We're gonna put that right in the outer corner. I actually might go in with a smaller brush here in a minute. This is just like, kind of like blow out the color. Cause I wouldn't, it's not a super dark brown, I just want the outer corner a little deeper. So like that. So I know I sold this one for my sister. It's the brand MSQ, and I'm pretty sure she just ordered it online. But it's just like this small, I would say like a pencil brush, but it's a little bigger than a pencil brush. And we're gonna go right back into that road trip. And we're just gonna like put it like more just like where exactly where we want it, just like right in the outer corner, like that V kind of shape, like that. I'm gonna go back and take the Morphe M433, and I love this brush. I love this brush more than anything. I literally will blend all of my eyeshadows out with it. Um, it's just this flat. It's like dome shaped at the top, but it's like flatter but fluffy at the same time. And we're gonna take that and kind of blend everything out. You can just go over it and you can even go back into um, High School Sweetheart and just buff some of that like right on top just to kind of blend everything together. Okay, and now we are going to go into um, Endless Summer, which is this super pretty like goldy shade. And I don't usually use a brush for my shimmer shades 
So I literally just take it with my good old finger, just slap it on there. The only time I really use a brush for shimmer shades is if I'm like wetting them to like make them more intense, but it's just Monday and we're not trying to get all fancy, so, so like that. I'm going to take go back in with our M433 brush and just kind of blend that together, make sure there's no harsh lines. I'm going to go in and start, go ahead and start the face. And we're going to go in with the e.l.f. primer. So I just take like a little bit on the back of my hand and then I just take it and then press it. I and just kind of like rub it, rub it in. So I'm definitely like wanting to know like what you guys are going to want to see. Like I definitely am a huge makeup person and like I can like go through my makeup and show you guys all what I have. So now we're going to go in with foundation and what I've been doing lately, I have the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth um, in the shade 125 Nude Beige. And then this is the e.l.f. Uh, acne fighting or anti-acne or something foundation. And it's in the shade Porcelain. This is super dark for Porcelain. I've actually also been mixing in these Makeup Revolution uh, liquid highlighter, like illuminating liquid. I'm gonna take a little, I use, um, so, and I just use, okay, well that was supposed to be a tiny bit, but it wasn't. Um, and this one's a little more liquidy, so it's kind of hard to control. And so with this, it's just like a little dropper. Just drops right in. Um, just a couple, like, I'm gonna take it on the back of this brush, just to like mix it all together. Put the rest on with my finger. Um, just to, like get it where it needs to go. Um, so I'm just gonna start working this in. This is the Morphe sponge. Um, the one with like the flatter end. I have the other one too, the one that looks kind of like a teardrop with like hips. Um, but I don't like that one as much. I don't feel like it gets as wet and I feel like it like soaks up like all of your product. So that one isn't my favorite. I use it because it was a sponge and these Morphe sponges are only $7. Well, like I've had a beauty blender and those are nice, but I just, I don't know. When I, it comes to like beauty blenders, I don't think a sponge is worth $20 when so many other brands have just as good sponges. Like when Beauty Blender first came out, I feel like it was like the best sponge on the market because they like, it wasn't hard. It wasn't like soaking up all your product. Like, and so, but now there's just so many like Eco Tools has that green one and it is so good. I love that sponge. Um, the pointed end on this side and then like the flat side, I use this side like for baking and stuff. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with concealer. Shape Tape is probably still to this day like my favorite concealer. And then now I'm just uh, putting concealer over the places I need a little extra coverage. Um, and then I'm gonna take some. This one, now that I'm tanner, it's a little too light for me, but I like a highlighted under eye, so it's not super, super bad. So, but yeah, this is the best concealer that I found. Um, just blending this in. I just think the Tarte Shape Tape blends in with any foundation, like no matter, like I've never had a problem like with my concealer, like blending in with foundation, like, and I think it's just so full coverage and it lasts so. Now I'm going to set my under eyes and I use pressed powder for most of my face, but for my under eyes, I love using loose powder. I just think it looks better. But um, this powder is the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. And it is so, so good. It's so finely milled. I don't get flashback from it. Um, so I just, oh, that went everywhere. Cause it was, I just shook it up like freaking crazy. Um, so I just take some of my sponge and kind of bake. I know like my baking might not be like everyone else's baking, um, but I just like put a decent amount of powder right under my eyes. And then let's close this before I get it anywhere else. I don't know if you guys can see that powder. Just 
literally all over my body. Um, and then, um, wiping my bake off with it. And then, you know, glowing. I'm actually going to take my Wet n Wild. I hate these because they're not like labeled like what they are, but obviously like this is just like a powder brush. Um, these, this is the Fair Light. And this is what I have been using, but I got a little more tan. I actually might use this one today. And then, uh, so I'm just gonna take it, swirl my, and then just kind of pat it in. Yeah, this might look a little light, but. Yeah, next time I'll wear a headband. And then I don't like go under my eye. But I like kind of like blend on like the outside of where I know like it's a little lighter. So it just like all like looks like it's coming together. And then I do this. Forehead. That was my brushes. Don't throw it Okay, so on to contour bronzer, the Hi Fi 8H. Um, obviously, I don't use this one a ton. I'll like kind of like barely dip into it, but. I but I'm not like a, I don't use that one like every single day. But now I'm just taking this, uh, also stole it from my sister, shout out to Sabrina. Um, the Sephora Airbrush Powder Brush and um, this palette called Donut, which I'm like, oh, I'm putting a donut on my face. This is the best day of my life. And just kind of dip into that. And this has a big mirror too, so. And just kind of contour a little bit. And then now I'm going to take the um, shade Debutante and blog, yeah, Blogger um, in the palette and then just kind of like mix them together and like do circular motions just to get like more of a bronze like with it. So, so that and then I'm actually just going to take Blogger and like one dot, I guess, of Debutante and Put that on my forehead. If I ever move my hair, someone be like, why is your forehead just white? So, and now going back in with my um, Wet n Wild brush, I'm just gonna take it and like, no extra product or anything, but just take it and like put, like kind of blend it in, I guess. And like obviously I like has leftover powder, so it just like blends it in. Now to my favorite part, I put blush on more than I put anything else on. Like I love blush, um, but we're actually gonna go back in with the Aspen palette and made you blush. And I always go heavy handed at first because I'm a psycho, but you know, classic like smile. Um, but again, like I can go back in with um, my powder brush or like a different brush and just kind of um, tone it down, but that actually doesn't look too crazy today, so. Good job. So just again, other side, and then yeah. So and then I'm actually gonna take this. Why don't companies label their brushes? I know. And it's just like a pointed. I think it was a powder brush too, and it doesn't have like any product on it unless it has like some leftover setting powder on it. But just kind of blend out the edges. And then what I do? I feel like once you get to the highlight, you're like, oh, almost done with my beauty routine. So. Before I put my highlight on, just because I love like a good blinding highlight, I'm gonna take setting spray and spray my face down and then kind of melt all the powders together and then I'll kind of like make my highlight more intense. And I've just been almost out of this, but I've been using the NYX Dewy Finish setting spray. Um, super obsessed with the dew, so excuse my face while I do this. Oh, running low. And then I'm going to take a new brush I just got. It's the M510. And it's just a little. I told my cousin the other day, I told Taylor, um, that every time I use this brush, I feel like a princess when I highlight because it's just so dainty. And she's like, what do you mean you feel like a princess? And I was like, I don't know, but. So just highlighting, I'm pretty wild about it. I'm like, oh, put it everywhere. Like already you can tell like, hello, hello. Obviously it looks like a streak right now, but I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender, which is what I do at the end and kind of just melt all the products together, but. Like, look at that. Like, and this highlight does not have to be as intense as I'm making it. Like, you can literally, like, barely put it on. You know, like, just not use it much. And it's just like, oh, hi. But, like I said, I'm an intense highlight kind of girl. So, we are going to, well, make it intense. So, and I just kind of do, like, a little C shape. And then I highlight the bridge of my nose. 
I actually don't mind my nose when I'm facing like facing people, but I'm turning and like laughing. I just feel like it's so big. Just drop that brush ball. I don't know. So now we're gonna just take the sponge. Um, I baked this with this side, so I'm actually gonna turn it over. And it's obviously still damp. I just damp like dampened it right before I started. But so I'm just gonna take it, and I really need a smear open. <laughs> and then just kind of press it into the skin. You're not really like pressing anything in, but I feel like you're just kind of like making your setting spray like go into your skin a little better and then you're just kind of like blending everything together the only thing that um kind of stinks about putting the setting spray on first if there's like um i don't want to say a puddle but like a spot of like setting spray you're gonna get like a little dot i don't know if you can see it like that but i don't really care <laughs> after i film this video i'm gonna now i'm just taking finishing like finishing touches and i'm taking the L'Oreal Waterproof Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Everyone's obsessed with this. Obviously, it's in Carbon Black. Um, cult favorite. Love this mascara. I was going to curl my lashes, but I realized my eyelash curler is in the bathroom, and I don't want to get it, so. So, yeah. Um, I'm not going to put any lashes or anything on today. I didn't even put a wing on. Um, so, this is the finished look. I'll kind of scoot in. And so there is, oh, here's in the way. So there's that. So yeah, um, I guess that is the end of this little makeup tutorial. Um, yeah, if you guys want to see any videos in the future, just leave them in the comments below. Um, comment your name down below and I'll try to like get back to them and like and subscribe. That'd be really cool. Trying to, again, only have one subscriber. So, but I'd love to have some new subscribers and see you guys on my channel and uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! I have a big head, but I'm really thankful I don't have a huge forehead. Like, it's like an actual forehead. Like, maybe even like a three and a half, but thank the Lord. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I will see you. Nope. But, yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, tweet me. Um, nope, I'm not putting that in the video. Ah. Um.